Hey, y'all, we're working on our King Arthur this month. It's one of our five. And so you may have done a low lunge variation like this in yoga. I'm going to show you how to back it off and focus more on the stability part. And then we can work our way into a deeper stretch. So we are going to be kneeling. So if you have sensitive knees, roll up a towel or get a little couch cushion. And you could actually put your cushion or your towel just south of your kneecap, then you don't have any pressure on your knee. Your towel is actually, your shin bone is resting on your towel. Yeah, so try that, see if that feels comfortable. But what I'm going for is my knee going straight down from my hip. And then this knee, both legs are making a 90 degree bend. And I'm gonna turn to the front and show what my hips are doing. So my hips are level, my legs are 90, 90. If I didn't level my hips, I would start out like this if I just popped into this lunge. So I have to really make some effort to get that hip, the hip of the front side leg down. The other thing I see a lot in addition to hip hike is either a rotation or a lean forward. And when I do that, I feel a lot of tension in my back and that does not feel good. So I wanna drop this hip down and move my whole rib cage back. I'll give you my side view again. So that feels like ooh, a totally different experience if I'm thinking rib cage moves back rather than push myself forward. Yeah, so what happens to me when I think ribs back, I'm already getting a real intense stretch down here down the front of my quad. So you might just hang out right here. If this feels comfortable, the next step could be the same arm as your down knee could stretch up and possibly to the back or the side. So here's a slight back bend. Again, I'm lifting up. I'm not dumping into my low back. I'm thinking lift, 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 possibly over to the side. And again, I'll show front view. Okay, so I'm level, I'm organized. I'm gonna take my arm up, back and over to the side. Now that's a whole other thing. Now see my hip hiking up. I got to tell it, get down. Oh, see, I'm glad we're working on this one this month. I got to practice keeping my hip level. Let's see other side. So low lunge, pad your knee if you need to. Yeah, this has, I must have started on my harder side because this feels easier. See if you're twisted or if your ribs are kind of jutted forward. If so, lean your ribs back. Stack your head on your shoulders, on your hips, recheck level hips, maybe little tiny back bend or reach to the side. Here's what it looks like from the side last round. So I'm on leg number two, knee goes straight down. I'm stacked and organized through my torso. If this feels kind of wobbly, put your hand near a wall or a chair. So make yourself comfortable if this feels like a balance challenge. Then changing my focus, looking up at the ceiling or over to the side, that's gonna add a little balance challenge. So just try that organization version. And then another way to do this would be to, to do what you may have done before, where you stretch your hip forward. But this one, I'm getting, up. when I just think of that ribs back and stacked, ooh, I get a real serious stretch down the front of my quad and hip flexor, the front of my leg. Okay, try your King Arthur, this version, more organized version, and let me know what you think.